Hello guys and welcome, this is Niz from Pandemonium Games and we are, well I am commentating on a game played recently in our store. On our left you'll see Enrico and on our right is Chris. Enrico is playing Royal Guard and Elite Grievous, Grievous 2 from the Way of the Force set. And on the right we have Christian playing Plo Koon with two Jedi Partisans. So they already selected the battlefield, uh, Enrico lost it all. And Chris chose his battlefield, which is the Imperial Palace, which allows you to look at someone's hand to discard a card from the hand. And so, really powerful play in the beginning there with Christian, playing the Entangle to remove both of Grievous' die. And that literally takes so much damage off the deck there. And you'll see Enrico milling four cards. Why? Because the Jira Partisan abilities are doubled up on Plo Koon. So, if you don't know what Plo Koon does, he has the abilities of every non unique character on your obviously on your roster so any any instance of indirect damage will result in at this point four cards being mulled from the top of a deck and that's really bad for grievous because grievous really wants to have all his weapons on grievous because then you don't get to use his power action which is to roll all the weapon dice or oh, two four damage to an opponent so this is a really great opening turn for uh, Christian. He's got the scrap heap out now, so every time he mills a card, he'll get a, a resource. And Enrico claims. So the claim allows him to look at uh, Christian's hand and discard a card. Now, sadly, Christian points out that yeah, he shouldn't have rolled in the Jedi Partisan because that influences what Enrico might take from his hand. So he should have just waited here. It's not a big issue. He takes a Dex's Dino. Why? Because that's going to just go against his game plan of murder, essentially, with Grievous. And that's the end of round one. So, I think Enrique at this point has lost five cards already. So that's one turn gone. But the game is shorter. And he's done one damage in the first turn. The Royal Guard has four damage on him. And there's a Maul Saber coming out onto General Grievous. And Maul Saber is a really good upgrade. But, I mean, he must be desperate if he's playing a three cost right now. He doesn't have anything cheaper to play into his hand. Oop, there's the doubt for the indirect damage on the Partisan. It's a blank. We'll remove that. Christian reactivates the next partisan. It comes up with a one disrupt, I believe. Is that a disrupt? I believe it's a disrupt. Rolls in Grievous. Hmm. There's a blank there. And they pacify the Grievous die, giving him essentially one shield and not two shields. So now at this point, Enrico's only play is to activate the royal guard but you lose the guardian ability there against Blokun. he does have the plus two though so nature's charm there re-rolling grievous back into a blank Blokun, i think is on a resource at that point ah the diplom oh it's a scruffy looking nerf for sorry i thought it was diplomatic protection so he's saying event to have a look because if grievous's events are really powerful things like well armed and uh, I think it's mod machine modification. I'm not 100% sure it's a zero cost that heals one you play an upgrade. And Scruffy looking nerf her is really good in the mole matchup because it removes a card from your hand of your choice, obviously. So if you worry about an event or an upgrade coming out, it's really crazy. So he just got the tactical mastery to reroll that. It's got plus four on the mole's dice, plus two on the royal guard and one resource on Grievous. So let's see what happens here. He plays a Mars's Vault, which gives him it gives both players the additional resource here and the claim from Enrico gets rid of the entangle which is a card that annihilated him in the beginning so flames of the past being discarded for a real trying to get an indirect to mill four cards gets the focus and mills two indirect and mills four cards scrap if gives you one so Enrico's gone through quite a bit of cards here I think he's halfway through his deck already I mean he's gone past the 15 card mark already and he's still only done one damage so far. Both partisans still alive, so both of them giving their abilities constantly to um, Plo Koon. And there's the Kylo's lightsaber. And the air horn from Christian. Really crazy. So, I think, yeah, you go for the partisan. Do it with the indirect. There's a two indirect. Does he guardian this? Does he guardian it? He doesn't, he's going with Grievous to roll in. Ooh, blank of the Mole Saber. But 
Plank on Grievous. Ooh, there's no melee damage showing there. So two indirect. And he's milling four. Oh, Force Illusions. Just takes a show to I believe in there. Oh no, it's a cross card lightsaber. Thank you, Christian. Scrappy Kriggers gives him another resource. Roll guard goes in. Blanks out there. Now Enrico has to be really like economical with his cards here. So made to suffer. Really good card. The amount of blanks showing in your opponent's that oh, each player, not even your opponent, you mold that number of cards. And it's a one cost. So he essentially paid one to more three there. Close to another card called Strength through Weakness. Oh, Krivas reroll into mega damage right there. What do we see happening here from Christian? Oh, it's the big wheelie. Big cow play. Reroll the Grievous back into melee damage. What does he do here? He blanks the saber and removes Moldai. So Beguile just saved him f essentially six, five, six damage there. And just got to reroll. Oh, even more damage. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a lot of damage on Grievous there. That's just gonna that's gonna kill a partisan. Ooh, strength through weakness to more four more cards. Is that the last card? Whoa, this is Wow, this is turn turn two, I believe. Turn three? This is turn three and he has two cards in hand. Christian hasn't activated two of his characters yet. This is insane. So as you can see this deck mills extremely fast. I mean if you hit one indirect damage. He kills Plokun straight up just to get rid of the this card, and he claims. So he claims to remove a card from his hand. He hasn't activated the other Jitter Partisan. Uh, what if that was just to protect his hand? Because he could have activated, possibly hit the discard, and discarded the card anyway. Either way, he would have gone to two rounds. So you've got two Jitter Partisans, Grievous, and a Roll Guard. No hyperspace jump in this because I think you know it's not this is standard decks. These are standard decks, so there might be hyperspace jump in this to get him out of this. Oh, there's the one disrupt on the partisan. Shoto lightsaber on Grievous. Little too little too late though. Um he's got no cards in hand, so I am assuming he wants to kill both of them. Can he do 15 damage? It's possible. It's really possible. And Christian looking at the uh, Warhammer Underworlds deck box because we had a tournament the same day. That's in the tournament kit for Warhammer Underworlds. The Night Vault expansion was legal. Okay. So Christian no, stalling for time here. Don't know what he's doing. No, it is. Yeah, it's Christian. Too indirect as well. Oh, does he guardian it? I think he should guardian it. I mean, there's nothing. He might as well guardian it. I mean. Christian Letty needs to remove dice, so it's a blank on the Royal Guard. If Grievous rolls in and he blanks a monumental amount of dice, another two indirect. No re rolls, what he gets is what he gets. Oh, there's quite a bit of melee damage on the table. Can he kill both of them? Is, are we going to see a removal? Oh, it's a beguile. Oh, it's a beguile. So re roll the Grievous from the three, let's see. Back into the three. So he's going to blank that and then remove the other Grievous die. That's the good play there because then he can't kill both of them because that guard at all on Grievous would have annihilated one pa uh, both partisans. So that melts a partisan. Six plus one, seven. He's technically not dead, but GG. Because just a claim from Christian to end the game there. I mean, well played there by Christian. Very well played. It's an interesting mold deck and. I hope to see more of it in the future and just see how it plays out. Well, thanks guys for listening and watching this video. This is the first video we're doing here and hoping to post Destiny videos as soon as I can. Check out our Facebook page and our store online for any Destiny product or singles. Thanks for listening guys. We'll see you guys in the next video then. Cheers. Bye.